We took a 20 minute drive out to Smith's and yeah, as I thought, Roman James has fell asleep. But we are here and it's not going to stop us. We're still going to go on a WWE figure hunt today. We're in Liverpool. Uh, we've got two stores we're going to visit today. Uh, so without further ado, let's try and wake Roman James up and let's get inside. Right, well, I've uh, I've got him out the car. He's he's not awake. He's on my shoulder. I, I'm just going to carry him, though. Hopefully, he'll wake up at some point. Well, you know, when we get in the store. Uh, let's try and get across this road. Uh, this guy, stop it. Yeah, cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Um, right, yeah, so hopefully he'll wake up when we get in the store and he can have a little walk around and look around himself. Uh, at a minute, he is still asleep on my shoulder. So uh, I'm not sure how this figure hunt's going to go with a child asleep on my shoulder but anyway we will progress we are uh, walking through them lovely doors into that beautiful store this is obviously a a form of heaven if you you know if I, if I do say so myself so we're going down the aisle you will know the aisle that it is the funko pops here let's take a quick look at the funko pops first of all uh, do we see anything? I think I see a couple of Funkos. So we got this Roman Reigns one. Now, oh, that's really cool, actually, with the two championship belts there. That's a really cool Funko. And we got that two-pack with Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker. Uh, let's have a step back. Like, let's have a look over at the WWE figures. We've got the basics in the battle, sh uh, the championship showdown. Sorry, sorry. Uh, on the right-hand side there. On the left-hand side, the Elites. Not a huge selection, but they've got a few new ones I can see offhand quickly. Uh, doesn't seem to be any Legends, though. I'm still yet to find any Legends figures uh, in stores, in Smiths. I know they're about, but I just haven't seen one yet. Right, so let's have a quick look along here. So they got that Commissioner Foley figure. Um, really cool figure. It's come down to $14.99, I believe. The price tag says 20 but... Uh, the website says fourteen ninety nine. We've got this Liv Morgan figure. Uh, it's cool with the money in the bank briefcase. Uh, I'm not overly fussy on that face scan though. Um, but it's got the title belt, which is really cool. It's nice to have a Liv Morgan figure. But yeah, the face scan for me doesn't look fantastic on that one. Um, but yeah, Commissioner Foley certainly one that's still on my list that I want to get. Whether I pick it up today or not, we shall see. Um, Damien Priest there, we've got Matt Riddle, we've got this Greatest Hits, Shawn Michaels figure, which still is a fantastic figure. Um, so, yeah, well, well this is, look at this, it's got a, uh, it's got, it's got a warning, you know, this is protected, it's got a security protective tag on it. We're definitely in Liverpool, guys, we are definitely in Liverpool. I've never seen a security tag on a wrestling figure before. <laughs> <laughs> Get that back on the shelf. Uh, right, we've got that Rey Mysterio there, which uh, I think must be top picks because uh, we picked up that Elite not long ago, didn't we? Uh, we've got Bobby Lashley there with the United States Championship belt. Really nice figure, really nice belt. Um, ah, I've seen Stardust. Oh, I just need to reach up. It's not easy with the child on your shoulder. <laughs> right, there he is. There's Stardust. Yeah, it is kind of one of the ones I was hoping to find. Yeah, really, really cool figure. Um I know Cody didn't enjoy the, the Stardust uh, gimmick himself, but I'm sure he'll enjoy the sales that this figure brings, <laughs> the the revenue that it will bring to him. Uh, yeah, really cool figure, though. Um, just trying to reach up here for some some more bits. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got. Um, right, we've got, looks like, wow, well, they've got Angelo Dawkins there. Uh, Montez Ford, I think I can see there. We've got Dewdrop. We've got them WrestleMania figures. The Rock, Hulk Hogan. Um, what else? Let's have, a, let's have a quick look at this. Roman Reigns Elite. Yeah, this is the new one. He doesn't change too much Roman Reigns figures, but this one's cool. It's got the um, the red... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, w I want to call, call it a lay. I think it's called a lay, isn't it? The red lay. Um, what else have we got here? Mandy Rose. Yeah, we've got that blue Tista. Um, yeah, we've got, like I say, Street Profits. Some really cool figures. Ah, uh, yes, Cody. Now, I missed out on the original Cody. I don't know how I missed out because I uh, I actually did have it in hand. I thought, no, I'll leave it. I'll get it later on. It, it sold out so quick. So the top picks is out. Um, it's not a bad figure. It's cool. I, I'm not overly fussy on the colour of the pants, uh, but I'm not missing out on this one. So I am picking up that Cody for sure. So I've got Stardust and Cody sat just there.
It's not easy with a sleeping child on your shoulder doing a figure hunt. But we will try. We will keep going. <laughs> Yeah, so it really isn't easy doing a figure hunt with a sleeping child on your shoulder. So I've gone and got myself one of these like little trolley baskets. I've put that Stardust figure and the Cody figure in the basket so I can just pull it along while Roman James continues to sleep on my shoulder. I was kind of hoping he would wake up by now, but no, he's slept the whole time. Um, not really much left here to look at. Just wanted to have a look at these uh, these big Funkos that they've got. Um, not really anything I'm interested in, so I think we're going to get ourselves off. Yeah, so we're back in the car now. I got these two figures. Oh, and look, Roman James now wakes up. <laughs> Unbelievable. But yeah, we got Stardust and we got the American Nightmare, Cody Rose, not the America Nightmare that the last figure was. But yeah, so like I say, we do have another Smiths we're going to head over to. Uh, so let's go over there and see what we can find. Yeah, so we are at the next Smiths store now. It's about a 10, 15 minute drive. We went from the Speak store at the Merseyside Retail Park to Edge Lane Retail Park, Edge Lane Smiths. Uh, so Roman James is awake for this one. Uh, so let's get inside. Let's see what amazing figures we can find. Come on in, Roman James. Let's get in. Let You can follow. The, you, you can be the leader. I will follow you. These were like, oh, oh hey, he's getting a bit scared of the doors. <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah, yeah, they open for you because they're magic, you see. They're magic doors. Let's get in. Watch out for the people. Come on. Come on. Stop people watching. We've got some figure hunting to do. Let's take a look. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's just it's just a thing of beauty. You can never you can never get old of get, going into a Smith's. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, so we're down the aisle you know the aisle the wrestling figure aisle where the funko pops are the wrestling figures etc uh, so first of all as we always do let's look at the funko pop section and wait a minute i see british bulldog oh yes i'm so glad i found this british bulldog would you reckon roman james that that is a cool funko isn't it you probably don't know who british bulldog is but well, you definitely don't but he is a legend that is amazing you know what that might have to come home with me today but let's check out these wrestling figures, right? Commissioner Foley is sitting here too. Honestly, such a good figure. I will get it one day. I'm telling you, I will get it one day. we got that Top Picks rock, which still, I, it's amazing. It's as good as it was in the last store. What do you reckon, Roman James? Do you like it? Do you like it usually? When he grabs hold of something, it usually means that he likes it. Sometimes he'll push it away if he doesn't. So I like to get his, uh, his thoughts on figures now and again. I think he kind of likes it. He didn't push it away. He was kind of trying to hold it. We'll put that back there, though. Uh, the Undertaker from The Greatest Hits is such a good figure. I think it's still at 19 99 If I hang around a bit, it may come down in price. If I miss it, I miss it. But if I can get it for a decent price, then I I'll definitely pick it up. Um, but, you know, I like to hang around and wait a little bit. What, what's this you found, Roman James? Is that Five Nights at Freddy's? Is that Five Nights at Freddy's, one of them? I, I've, to be honest, I've never even seen Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't even really know what it is. I just recognise the uh, the character from it. <laughs> but, uh, Roman James, you definitely don't know what this is. But it looked quite scary, didn't it? I wonder, I'm not sure. I think it is a scary... I don't know if it's a film or a game or something. But, um, yeah, either way... <laughs> We'll just uh, put put that back there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, back to the wrestling figures. We got that Farouk figure there. That's down at twelve ninety nine now. Obviously not very popular. But you know what? I keep coming back to this British Bulldog. Let, let's take a look, see if we've got any better conditioned ones. I mean, this one isn't a bad condition. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I, wanna, I always like to get the best conditioned one. As, as you know, and why wouldn't I? If I'm a, I'm a collector. So, you know, I want the best of the best. Um, but no, to be honest, you know what? It looks like this one at the front was the best one. Uh, so we will we will take that. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to keep that in my hand. And I do have a spare hand because Roman James isn't asleep on my shoulder in this store. <laughs> right, so Roman James is calling me away. He wants to go and have a look around at some other things. So no wrestling at the moment. You know, Roman James has got his eye on other things. Not quite sure. He's going to like the uh, the outdoors play stuff um now he's kind of frozen in time <laughs> what is it what you found what what do you want to look at hey what 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 did you call me over here for you dragged me over here what is it what are we looking at you know because i was enjoying looking at the wrestling figures you know <laughs> uh right so what so you want to want to look at the trampoline is that it you do like trampolines i know that you do like trampolines yeah yeah point it all you want that's it you can't go on it though can't go on it 
Yeah, okay, you drag him. All right. Let's just put Davy Boy down here. Put Davy Boy Smith there. Right, I don't think you can go over there, though. You can, you can look at it. It's just a trampoline. You can look at it, but you can't really uh, can't really go anywhere. Just, just stay there. Just don't go too far. You like the feel of that grass? It is very nice grass, isn't it? It gives a real nice outdoorsy feel. <laughs> oh, right, Roman James, I think... Uh, no, no, don't go anywhere. I think it's time for us to go now. Should we go and pay for this Davy Boy Smith Funko? Let's go and pay for our British Bulldog. Right, guys, yeah, so we have left the store. We have finished in Smith's now. We've finished our figure hunt for the day. I did pick up that Davy Boy Smith, that British Bulldog Funko Pop. A uh, really cool Funko Pop. It's going to go lovely in the collection, that one. Yeah, really, really glad that I came to this store and that I found that. And obviously, from earlier on, I did get the uh, the Stardust and the, uh, the Cody Rhodes Top Picks, which is there. I'll just get them all out together for you. So we've got the Cody Rhodes top picks. We've got the British Bulldog Funko. And then we've got Stardust Elite. Uh, so, yeah, there we are, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you all on the next one.